qualifying can Barton but begins with a boyer. Charlton have lost three matches in a row at home. They've not lost four on the bounce here since Chelsea, Spurs, Arsenal and Man United won consecutively in 2002. Tough month that was for Curbs and the boys. Fast forward to today and it was Blackpool with an early penalty after a clumsy challenge. Jerry Yates stepping up and firing it home. Ben Amos looking into the sunshine, couldn't keep it out even with the aid of his baseball cap. Blackpool last won at the Valley in 1976. Since then, ten trips here without a win. Well, a second goal strengthened their case a few minutes before half-time. What a peach it was. Matty Virtue, with open space ahead, just continued on his merry way and let fly. Neil Critchley's side looking good value for a third successive win in the league. Lee Bowyer made a quadruple change at half-time. I think that sums up his thoughts on how things were going. It got worse, though. One of his experienced heads, Darren Prattley, was sent off three minutes after the break. Prattley's second red card in his last ten league appearances. Quite the way to mark a century of games for the Addicts. Another penalty came soon after, as the Tangerines were very much enjoying their trip to the capital. It was Yates twisting and turning, Ben Watson taking the bait. Yates would step up to convert for his brace and Blackpool's third. If this was a computer game, it's one of those days that Lee Bowyer would turn off and start again. Down to nine men in the dying stages. Straight red for Chuck Zanike, a swinging arm catching Daniel Ballard in the face. Two red cards in two weeks for Anike. Not a day to remember for Charlton. Making the playoffs. They've won five games in six, but it's not just one of those short term runs of form. If you look at the last 18 games, 36 points, two mm. points per game over a long period of mm. time, they are going to have a big say in what happens from here on out. All right, let's talk, talk chart. When, when they come out of League One season before last, no matter what was going on off the pitch, Lee Boyer, for me, was masterful in keeping the players incubated. It was so good. Mm. They go down last year, again, problems, Ali, with lockdown and players not wanting to play. So you're kind of thinking, OK, that's maybe where mm -hmm. Charlton were. This season, though, he, he kind of has been backed by a new owner. And where, where are we at at the moment? Because I think I think there's a, there's a lot of patience with him, even amongst the fans. Mm. Is that running out? I think for a certain portion of the fan base, certainly. Because, well, the worst statistic for me is that it's nine straight home league games yeah. where they've conceded two goals or more. Just consistent errors at the back that are undermining them. And today, of course, two red cards as well. Prattley's came just after he'd made a triple sub at half time, and two minutes in, his senior player picks up a second yellow card <laughs> and gets sent off. It's just not what you need. And then Chuck Sanike chucks in an elbow, <laughs> gets his second red card yeah. in three games. I can understand Bowyer's exasperation, but his exasperation is so clear in his interviews over the last few months. Yeah. And I wonder whether that kind of emotional state that he's showing isn't necessarily having the calming influence on his players that's going to get them to the point where they're not making these, these boneheaded decisions in games. Because ultimately, you know, he said today he understands that there's pressure, but that he still wants to be there to turn this job around. Absolutely. It's been what a ride it's been, been mm. under him as well. And there's so much credit for what he's done in previous seasons. We'll see how much credit that is mm. uh, with the owner, new owner. Newish. Let's have a look at the table. Uh, Peterborough extend their lead at the top to four points after their win and Lincoln's loss. Uh, Hull with the only side in the playoff positions to win. Ipswich climbed to eighth, just two points off the top six following back to back victories. Burton Albion are off the bottom and up to 21st following a fifth win in seven under Jimmy Floyd Hasselbein. Uh, Bristol Rovers climb out of the relegation zone and up to 19th after their first win under Joey Barton. SC Wimbledon drop into the bottom four.